Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our C Sharp for Automation Testing video series. In this video, we'll be talking about strings in C Sharp and some of the most awesome enhancement happen in strings in C Sharp 11 version. And some of the features that we are going to be discussing in this particular lecture are going to be raw string literals, multi-line raw string literals and more. So we'll see how all these things can be achieved with C Sharp 11. So the first feature that we are going to be discussing in this particular video is going to be the raw string literals. So for example, if I wanted to perform a string operation with a string something like this, like an HTML source over here, you will always notice that we get a screwy line over here because there are so many things happening. The first thing is these are sitting in multi-line and there are a escape characters to be done for every single ankle bracket that we have to do because it's an HTML source because this particular less than or greater symbol is going to be a keyword within the C-sharp language. So this is not going to work for us basically. So in order to make this thing working, we are going to use a new feature of C-sharp 11, which is called as the raw string literals. So this raw string literals can be achieved using triple double quotes, something like this, and then a triple double quotes, something like this. And then you need to give a next line over here so that this particular code is going to be a legal code for us as you can see. So this is how we could able to achieve the escape as well as the raw string literal operation with C sharp 11. And now if I wanted to print this, I can just do a console dot write line of the HTML source. And then if I try running this, this is going to work. Not only that, you can also perform the intendations something like this. And let's say if I want to close the slash body over here within this particular string, and if I try executing this, the output is also going to maintain the intendation for us. The IDE is also showing as the intendation over here, pretty much like how it does for the actual HTML. So you will notice that once I execute this, this particular body is going to be printed for us with all the intendation over here. So this is how the raw string literals really works. Not only that, we can also now use the string interpolation within this particular triple double quotes as well. What that really means is that we can use something like this and now I can use this dynamic data within over here by using this open braces. And you know that this open braces can only appear if you use a dollar sign for the string interpolation. That's exactly what we're going to be doing over here as well. And then close the braces over there. And now if I try running this particular code, you will notice that this is going to execute and you will see that the register has been replaced with the login link because we have did the string interpolation over here. So this is how the string interpolation works with the multi line in the raw string literals. But now let's say if I wanted to do the exact same thing for a JSON string, something like this. And if I just put a double course and if I paste this JSON string over here, you will notice that this is going to start complaining as the error as we got for the HTML. But I'm going to do a triple double quotes something like this and I'm gonna do the same thing over here and if I just try to escape this over here for the next line you will notice that there is no exception at least happening for now for our code but the problem is if we try to do a string interpolation in this kind of code let me see what is going to basically happen for example if I want to do a string interpolation for the product with let's assume a JSON dynamic data, something like this. And if I wanted to really get this data in for the products over here. So if I say JSON dynamic data over here, something like this, you will notice that we are getting an exceptions over here. So how to get around this particular problem? Well, in order to resolve this particular problem, we actually need to use what is called as a double dollar over here. And you will notice that now we don't really have any exception. And at the same time, the JSON data is also not complaining it. But the problem is you still see that this is still inside the string. It is still not a literal. Well, in order to get the whole variable itself, we need to use what is called as a double braces, something like this. And you will notice that the JSON data is now being identified as a variable, rather a string itself. So we can now use or replace everywhere, wherever that we wanted to use it. And now if we try to print this particular JSON string, this is also going to work for us without any problem. And you will see that we have this particular JSON value being printed as well without any problem. And this value has been replaced from product to service because we have a JSON dynamic data. So this is how it actually works with this string interpolation along with the multi-line with the escaping of the braces 
within the raw string literal so this is how it is done the next operation that we are going to literally talk about is going to be another feature which is going to make our life more easier which is nothing but using expressions within inside the strings itself so what i really mean about the expression is that let's assume that we have got a code something like this as you can see over here so this is nothing but a switch case statement or the condition statement that we always do with the new feature of c sharp introduced in c sharp 9 and you can see that we are doing like less than thousand then print a low range salary if it is less than or equal to 2000 2500 then print the mid-range salary and more than 9000 awesome salary if nothing then the salary does not match something like this so this is the condition that we have set over here so if i wanted to print this particular value mostly what we used to do it is we used to do a console dot right line and then we do a salary range something like this because this is the salary range that we have got and then if we try to print this particular value you will notice that it is going to print us that the low range salary is going to come up for the value 700 so if i let's say gonna make something like 10,000 or something like that we are gonna get something like an awesome salary as an output over there but now with the new feature of the string what we can do it is we can move this whole expression inside the string itself so what I really mean is that I can now say a dollar and salary range print this whole value within a double quote something like this over here and just remove this particular semicolon and you can see that within this particular string i could be able to do that and i can get rid of this guy over here and now if i try running this particular code you will notice that it is still going to print the salary range is awesome salary so this is how we could able to achieve this operation within the string itself using the new string feature that we have got within c sharp 11. hope you got the idea of how to use the new feature of c sharp 11 within your code and i'm sure that these are some of the exciting features released with c sharp 11.